Ollie. Yeah, Ollie. <laughs> I'm bullfighting with a smasher. I mean, this is how life is. Life doesn't get much better than this. Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Lit and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I want to check out today is this new sniper rifle that's coming to the event store, the Obliterator. So if you have a look, it's a sniper rifle military, a slow firing sniper rifle with a high base damage and a heavy kick. It shots pierce through walls and husks alike, can quickly obliterate structures. That sounds like something that's right up our street, so let's jump in game and see just how good it is. So just before we jump in then, let's have a quick look at the perks. So we've got a 21% rate of fire, we've got 20% impact, we've got physical damage on there, plus 26%, 20% headshot damage, which is going to be pretty key, I should imagine, with a weapon like this, 24% damage to missed monsters and bosses, and then the last one is headshot eliminations can cause an explosion, damaging enemies within 0.5 tiles for 30% weapon damage, which is pretty awesome. And the hero I'm going to use is Tedshot Jess, mainly because she's got a couple of skills that actually just boost the sniper rifle a little bit. So hitting a headshot increases the speed of your next reload by 7%. Max 35% resets after reloading, so that'll be quite useful. We've also got quick scope as well, so increases sniper rifle rate of fire by 35%. So all in all, I think Jess is definitely the way forward to go with this kind of weapon. So let's dive into a game. Okay, so let's test this out over here then. Can we get this group to run back at us? So if we get a good vantage point like here. Oh, look, we've got a... Oh, it's just firing straight through. Look at that. 6,700 damage, but it's just firing through everything. Okay, that's what you get for going AFK. Or maybe they're just loading in. Well, let's save them. Whoa, these damages are absolutely huge. Okay, where's that from? Oh, right, okay. So there's a floor. Can you use it on the fly? All right, doesn't do a ton of damage close up. 7,000, 7,500, headshot, 13,000. So that's the difference. Oh. All right, well, that's that's not bad at all. Where's, where's that firing from? You down there. Okay, 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 I see. Missed. Gotcha. Wow, okay, so that is pretty meaty. So that's pretty meaty when it fires. Four shots, though. I mean, that's not really a lot. And what I'm finding right now is it's, it's a little bit impractical when I'm trying to use it. Because if anything's up close to you, you can't really get that out. Now, let's just reload that. Reload speed is slow. And the recoil on it is huge as well. Okay, let's save our buddies again. All right. So he's doing massive, massive damage. It's just... Look at the recoil. Watch this one on fire. You ready? Whoa, I mean, it goes back. It doesn't go back all the way. So I, I kind of start there, goes up here, and then comes back to about here. So the recoil on this is huge. But a lot of these are just big one shots that it's doing, big one bombs that it's dropping there each time we try. Let's go and try out this encampment. The durability on this thing is horrible. Oh, look, mini husks. See, now it's not going to do great against these, really, because... They're so small, and it's, it's kind of not going to work very well. It could take them out in one shot. Let's try and fire it up close. It's got a huge spread of fire look. And look, four shots, and then I'm reloading. It takes me forever. Uh, all right. Okay, I can hear. I can hear something. Oh, look. Wow. I just put the husky husk on his back. Now, it does fire through buildings. I mean, it can take down buildings and things like that. Okay, there is a husky husk. Oh, he's there. Look, he's trying to get the... He's trying to get the survivor. Wow, see? He's getting it close up. Oh, not you. Let me guess. You know it's a lot to ask. Okay, let's go. I mean, this should be relatively easy. This is the first encampment. We may need to use the, the barrier because this... Is going to be... Look, it's so impractical. It's just not going to work. I mean, we can face shift out a little bit, right? But ultimately, it's a little bit difficult. I think we've come too far away from the from the base. Yeah, you take that. Oh, look, the Outlander's here. So it's okay from a distance, but it definitely... 
This is not a weapon for getting in there. I know a lot of you players kind of like to get involved and like to be right in with the action, which is why soldiers are so popular. This weapon is not that weapon. You've basically got four shots that you're going to be taking from a distance. And they're going to be big shots. But I can't really see this being used anywhere else other than maybe a base defense when you've got a really good vantage point and a bit of time. But even then, a difficult a difficult uh, storm shield defense. Wow. That just did 11k damage and didn't kill her. Where'd you go? There you are. I see you. I see you, Sheila. And your little friend, too. Wow, okay. Now, I could see through the... Let's have a look. Can I see anything through there? No. I was wondering if it'd go through the floor. It can fire through buildings, so if you do have a defender, for example, you can kind of put the defender with this and box him in. You know, so you could kind of box the defender in and it would fire through the wall of it. However... Practical wise, no, it's not practical. Is it fun? Yes, it's fun. It's great fun. See, now this guy's getting close, and I'm reloading really slowly. The gun's not doing as as much damage as what I would as what I would like to do by doing it down the scopes. Go on, get back, get back. Oh my god, I'm not even I'm not even looking behind us. Damn it, that'd be a fence. Die. How much room have I got? Oh, I've got loads of room. All right. All right. Go, go, go. Yeah. All right. Good. So, you know, it's definitely got the fun factor to it. My only downside to this is it's so impractical. Okay. From range, because this is what we're going to try out this time. I think we've got to be closer to the actual encampment anyway to trigger it. But I'm going to try. Oh, my God. All right, look, this is just, look at all the, these swarms and swarms of them. And I can just be taking out, like, one one target. Now, it does shoot through targets. It said shoots through husks alike. But again, it's not overly practical. What are you doing, dude? Now, reload, recoil, everything else that goes with it. Yep, he's gone. Can we get some more husks? There we go. So, look, it's great when they're bunched up because I can shoot through loads. Ah, that's better. I can shoot through loads of them at a time. And it's alright saying it shoots through walls, but I can't see through walls like I can with the neon sniper rifle. So it's not even got the practicality there that this one that, that one's got. Alright, not bad. Not bad. I'm, I mean yes it's fun to use. But it's not it's not practical by any means. Okay, so like in this scenario, this is not going to be great. I'm still using it though, just because that's what we said we're going to do. Oh, two husks at once. There you go. Come on. And we've got the cloaked star with us as well. I do like the cloaked star. Well, <laughs> he's a little bit meh, but you've got to admit it looks fantastic. As we deciphered in our other video. Oh, I mean, look, it's just chaos looking through the scopes. It's close. We're ready, we're ready. Aha! Look at this for a vantage point. Now this, this is fancy living. Now this is how we are going to take out the husks from above. All right. I could really do with that tree going. Can we get rid... Wow, one shot the tree. Good. One shot the other tree. So it's actually better almost for clearing out vegetation. Hello. <laughs> Oh my god, again, completely, even from here, I mean, with how many there are, this is just totally impractical, this is not going to work. There you go, there you go, we'll shoot the canister, no we'll not, yes we will. Alright, so that kind of worked in its own little way. Alright, again, three bullets, very limited. Put some turrets up, just because... All right, so let's let's just pick off these at the at the back. I mean, look, thirty six k damage. It can do massive damage. It is capable. It's definitely capable. I think we have an issue with them trying to get to us up here. We're probably breaking the uh, breaking the encampment. All right, let's drop these in. 
All right, there's not much left alive there. We were there, looking over your shoulder from above. Oh, we got a Mavis. So you can use it on the fly. And look, that went through the husky husk there. Did I even get her then? I don't even know if I got her. Nope, I think I missed. I see you, boy. There you go. And we've got another one over there. Can we get through? Oh, go on, through the cone. Because we're mean like that. I mean, obviously, the closer you get, the harder this thing becomes. But he's definitely uh, not got the wave clear. Oh, look, a smasher. You're perfect. Holy... Nope! <laughs> oh, my God. No, I normally don't have issues with smashers. But I think I'm going to have issues now. I mean, he's elemental anyway, so I'm not doing full damage. But this just does not feel effective. Come on, let's dance. Let's dance. We're landing those headshots. It's more like a bullfight. Was that a second smasher over there that I saw? Come on, take this. Ole. Yeah, ole. <laughs> I'm bullfighting with a smasher. I mean, this is how life is. Life doesn't get much better than this. Ole. <laughs> oh, my God. Nope. Nope. Aha. Come on, Brutus. Yeah. We're not even a ninja. We're not even a ninja. And we're bullfighting with a smasher. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you will run. Okay. Well, the elemental damage on that probably didn't do us any favors. And we had to take out the shielder with this... Uh, I was going to call it this car. With the siege breaker. But yeah, do you know, it's okay. I mean, this weapon's not bad. It's not a terrible weapon. It is great for what it does. Do you know, high damage... You know, sniper damage. Overall, though, I, this is just not one we're going to use very often. You know, it's probably going to fall into the depths of nothingness. I mean, look, massive damage. But why do I want massive damage on husks like this? And I've got better things to take out the bigger husks. I mean, look, at this, at this kind of range, it's crazy. Oh, okay. Well, it's good for those. Reload, reload, reload. Jeez, I mean, it just takes so long. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I know you want reviving, but not going to happen right now. Keep pushing on. We might clear the zone. Okay, and the durability on it is not great either. I mean, I've only used it one mission before this. Just to try it out, and if you look, the durability is already... Like, about halfway down. Well, more than halfway down. Okay. Heads. Heads, heads, heads. Come on. All right. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, then, guys. Well, to summarize on this weapon and my take on this weapon, I think what you'll find is it's, you know, it's great for damage. You know, the power on this is absolutely insane. It's up there with, like, you know, the bear, the bald eagle, and the other huge, you know, damage weapons that you can have out there. But there's a lot of drawbacks that come with the obliterator. Most of all, I think the fact that it's got, uh, you know, such big recoil on it. The recoil on it is huge. It just kicks you back straight away. Uh, the magazine size is tiny. So even if you doubled that magazine size, it's still only eight shots. And at the speed it fires, because it's really slow firing as well, you know, that's going to be an issue at the same time. It's a really fun weapon. It's not practical. Uh, but it's extremely fun, you know, and it's good. You saw with the smasher, uh, you know, you can't really go into a one-on-one -on -one battle with a smasher with this. You would pull out, you know, your siege breaker or your grave digger or something that's just got a little bit more to it. Even, a, you know, even a shotgun like my, you know, the world-famous bear, I would bring out that instead. But definitely, definitely, you wouldn't get this. However, overall, massive, massive amount of fun to play. You know, I did enjoy that side of it, you know, and it's been, you know, if anything, it's been fun. All right, then, guys, massive thanks for watching. I massively appreciate that. If you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you hit a subscribe button. Don't forget to drop a like on your way out and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.